The second part of psychology and sociology is somatic sensation. Um, we're going to start off with sensations versus perceptions. Transductions converting any signals, which may be light, uh, chemical, or whatever, to electrical signals that are passing through um, action potentials that go through projection areas to the brain. Uh, perception is processing information, making sense of it, and uh, ganglia are a collection of neural bodies outside the central nervous system. Um, there's different types of receptors. Hair cells respond to the movement of fluid in the air, uh, in the ear, and which is basically what we're going to end up seeing um, how rotational and linear acceleration uh, happen. Dosi receptors respond to light. Dosi receptors respond to pain and noxious material. There's other types of receptors. Um, there's different thresholds as well. The threshold is a minimum amount of stimulus that is used to uh, have a difference in perception. Absolute threshold is the minimum energy needed to act as sensory system, so for like an actual action potential to fire off. And difference potential is a minimum difference between magnitude between two stimuli to you know tell if there's a difference. Weber's law usually has a constant, which is a change in stimulus to the original. Signal detection theory is in some response bias. So a hit is when a subject correctly perceives a signal and says there was a signal. A miss is when a subject uh, fails to perceive the signal. So signals given off and they don't say anything happens. False alarm is when uh, nothing is uh, a signal isn't given and a subject says yes there was a signal. And a correct negative is when the subject says there was no signal produced. Anatomy of the eye. The retina contains cones for light uh, processing in your brain. The highest amount of uh, cones is in the um, fovea. Iris are the muscles that control the um, uh, light that goes in. There's the constrictors and dilators. Uh, canal schlem is where aqueous humor drains from the eye. Cones detect color and darkness is de uh, determined by rods which contain rhodopsin. The normal pathway of uh, visual visual pathway is cornea, pupil, lens, vitreous humor, which then goes to the retina, bipolar cells, optic nerve, optic chiasm, and then optic tract, uh, lateral LGN, uh, parietal radiation, and then visual cortex. Cell processing: two types of cells uh, have different things they perceive. Parvocellular cells will look for shapes at a high spatial resolution, and magnocellular cells will find motion at high temporal uh, resolution. This is the anatomy of the ear. The malleus incus stapes are the smallest bones in the body. Um, <clears throat> Semicircular ducts is where uh, we'll have um, the uh, rotational acceleration is um, found. Um, the cochlea is the hearing organ, and then the eustachian tube will be used to pressurize the ear uh, to be in pressure equilibrium. Auditory pathway, cochlea, hair cells, vestibular, vestibulocochlear nerves, the cochlea, and then uh, vestibulocochlear nerve, Brainstem, MGN, and auditory cor cortex. The way to remember MGN is M is for music, so auditory. Uh, object recognition. There's bottom up and then there's top down. Um, bottom up is uh, data driven, and top down is generalizing. Um, proximity is when uh, these are just all principles. Proximity is close objects will look like one unit. Similarity is similar objects are grouped together. Closure is space enclosed by lines. You call it complete picture. Prognosis is perception will be regular, simple, and symmetric. Um, these right here will be the structure and function of the eye. So these are the different uh, and anatomical structures of the eye. And right here are the, um, the anatomical structure of the ear. Uh, outer ear, middle ear, and inner ear. Um, the outer ear is right here, the middle ear is right here, and this is the inner ear.